if you don't mind, in using that perspective of a competitor, do you recall anything about the graph as a competitor that impressed you? So the thing that really impressed us throughout this phase of being friendly competitors was the power of a protocol, the power of alignment between the different stakeholders to create uh, alignment and bring different participants together on that vision. So the challenge we had as a SaaS you know, business was people want the service to exist, but they don't necessarily want to be the only ones investing in the development of the platform. Uh, they fear that if they invest in adopting that solution at some point, the company could change direction, whether it's through an acquisition or through just, you know, change of priorities. But when you think about the graph, it's kind of reassuring that there's a huge community of people that will take care of that, that will make the graph evolve in a smart direction to make sure that all the participants are happy with the solution. And so when we were looking at our success versus the graph's success, and seeing how many top projects on Ethereum adopted the graph and were promoting the graph and users were contributing to some graph development, to the community answering questions and so on. We just saw that for us to be successful, we need to invest so much money in, in, in marketing and acquiring users versus the kind of organic growth that the graph is creating towards solving a similar problem, but very differently. And um, we knew that we had amazing technology, but being able to bring that technology to, to a new home that is much more aligned with our long-term aspirations is really appreciated by the team. We're really proud and happy to be able to do that.